of Lading, BL for short, is the most important shipping document in international trade. Bill of Lading, together with insurance policy and a commercial invoice, are the three crucial documents which are used excessively in international trade to ensure the exporters receive their payment and respective importers receive their merchandise. In simple words, bill of lading is nothing but a receipt. The word lading means loading, which is read from Old English, that's the name. The document contains information about the shipment and confirms that the receiver has received the shipment from the sender. Essentially, a bill of lading functions in three ways. As a receipt of goods, issued by the carrier or their agent to the shipper or their agent in exchange for the receipt of the cargo. As proof of contract of carriage, established when the shipper or their agent made a booking with the carrier to carry the goods from A to B. And as a document title to the goods, it means that Whoever is the holder of the BL has the title to the cargo or the rights to claim the cargo. However, different types of BL are used in certain situations and have important differences. Then, let's take a look at when each type is used and the vital information that should be noted. When it comes to shipping documents, we know that they differ from the types of shipment such as sea, air, land, etc. Likewise, the bill of lading differs from the modes of transportation, including ocean bill of lading, inland bill of lading, airway bill, multimodal transport bill of lading, and the through bill of lading. The names may give you a bit of indication regarding what these refer to. An ocean bill of lading is a document required for the transportation of goods overseas across international waters. If the goods need to be transported via land first or the shipment needs to travel further in the destination country after it arrives at the dock, there is going to be an additional document that is needed. This is known as the inland bill of lading. If goods are transported by air instead, there will be an air waybeer. Waybeer is a commonly used alternative term for the bill of lading. Air waybeer, abbreviated for ease of use as AWB, is also known as air consignment note, which is used for both domestic and international air transportation. It's important to remember that though a bill of lading acts a title of goods, an airway bill is not so. It is non-negotiable. When several methods of transport are being used to move one unit load to its destination without the unit load being broken up and under one document, that is called multi-model transport document, MTD. MTD, also known as a CTD, is very similar to through bill of lading, which is why they are often grouped together. However, it is important to understand that they are not identical. The main difference between a through BL and a MTD is that a through BL only involves one mode of cargo movement, yet there are different legs, like inland waterways, and the sea. Sometimes the rail shippers and the carrier don't have a direct contractual relationship. If you've booked your shipment with a freight forwarder, you may come across two different bill of ladies, the master BL and the house BL. Master BL is the transportation contract between the carriers and the centralized shipper. It is arguably one of the most reliable documents in transportation because it is printed and signed by the carrier that is commonly referred to as the carrier bill of lading. House BL, 
is the cargo transportation contract that centralizes the shipper and the real shippers. The house BL is also known as forwarder's bill of lading. Please note that all LCL and almost all combined transport use house BL. All fields and the master BL and house BL, including vessel information, description of a cargo, container seal numbers, weight, number of containers, sale date, etc., should be the same. The only differences should only be in the shipper, consignee, notify party, and pickup location fields. When an import or export is carried out, the bill of lading can be in the form of a physical hard copy of the document, known as the original bill of lading, or a virtual copy called the telex release. If working with an original bill of lading, this needs to be presented in order to be able to receive the merchandise at the destination. If you are dealing with the telex release, an original BL will still be generated, but a message would be sent by the shipping line or their agent at the loading port to their office or agent at the destination port, advising that the shipper or exporter has surrendered one or all of the original bills of lading that have been issued to them, and that the cargo can be released to the consignee shown on the BL without the presentation of any original bills of lading. Ideally, a telex release is quick and convenient, but it is not a replacement for a bill of lading. The exporter must send the bill of lading to the importer indicating the choice to use either the original BL or the telex release. The final decision usually depends on how much the provider trusts that his clients will have made payment. Some bills of lading circulate around the globe in terms of pre-printed notifications like shipped on board bill of lading and received for shipment bill of lading. Received for shipment BL is simply a bill of lading stating that the cargo has arrived at the port and is cleared to be loaded on the ship. But it does not necessarily mean it has been loaded. It is used as a temporary BL when a ship is late and will be replaced by a shipped on board bill of lading when the ship arrives and the cargo is loaded in good and expected condition. The received function of BL serves to provide initial evidence of the facts stated in the bill of lading as to quantity and the condition of the goods shipped. If there is no any comment regarding the quantity or condition of the cargo loaded on board, the bill of lading is referred to as being a clean BL. If the goods are loaded in a damaged condition, the BL must show the nature of the damage or such other comment as may be appropriate. Such a clause means that the BL is no longer a clean BL, it is called close the beer of lading or dirty beer of lading. According to the content in consignee column, the beer of lading is divided into two types, straight BL and other BL. Where a beer of lading is made out to a named consignee without adding the words to other. The beer is non-transferable or non-negotiable and is generally known as the straight bill of lading. Bills of lading made out to other or to a named party with the words to the order of are generally known as order bills of lading. They are transferable and are accepted as documents of title. Here, both negotiable and transferable carry the same meaning. Well, so much for the bill of lading, so much for the shipping documents, and so much for the cargo transportation. Remember that shipping documents are important to protect all parties involved in the shipping process. 
by complying with the shipping regulations that apply, it is possible to ensure that orders are correct, are delivered on time, are packaged in a manner that is in keeping with the shipping standards, and that the rates charged for the shipping process itself are compatible with any contracts that exist between the shipper and the carrier. See you in the next chapter.